how's, how's his knee? How's everything progressing? And you mentioned yesterday that he's he's full go now. Yeah, he, about everything. he's been full go uh, since I mean May. I mean he's done everything, and uh, you know y'all didn't get to see him uh, live in the spring, but but he really did a lot in the spring. Uh, so he, he, we're we're you know as confident as you can possibly be uh, in, in a guy. You know, he's done everything. I mean, he's not missed anything. He's been through all the workouts, all the skills and drills. Uh, he's he's an above and beyond guy. You know, whatever you tell him he, need, he needs to do, he's going to go above that. So it looks great. Uh, great summer. He's excited about getting back out there. Has he been officially cleared by, by Dr. Bell? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's he's. We we'll start in a couple weeks. He'll be. Leading the charge with no restrictions, yeah. and and he's been doing everything. Like I said, he hasn't missed anything. He's run out. You know, I've watched him. I've watched him sprint the hills. Um, and he's done everything in the weight room. He's, he's ready to go. Are, are there any concerns after last year about you know, I don't know, injury prone that kind of thing? Do you yeah. worry about that, no. or can you worry? Can no, you, you can't. You can't. You just can't worry about that. Yeah. I mean, I. Again, um, you know, guys have injuries. You know, Taj Boyd towards ACL came in here. We had surgery. He wore the brace his first year and and didn't wear it after that. And never missed a, never missed a game. Um, you know, Deshaun really hadn't been an injury prone guy at all. And uh, you know, the injury that we dealt with was with his knee was I think a lingering thing from high school. Uh, is, is, is to be honest with you. Um, but, uh, you know, so good to kind of get that behind us. Uh, and then the finger was just a, just a fluky thing. Had he been another position and he'd been, and had been on his left hand, he'd never missed a game. It just, you know, that's just ball. I mean, things happen, but no, we don't, I mean, obviously we're a better team when he's out on the field, but we, we don't, we can't, you can't play this game tiptoeing around and worried about getting hurt. I mean, if guy gets hurt, you, you gotta have somebody else ready. I mean, Ohio State won the national championship with their third quarterback. So, uh, <laughs> and nobody's going to feel sorry for you if the guy gets hurt. And, uh, you know, we're not going to we're not going to do things differently trying to put him in some type of bubble. Uh, we're going to go play, and you know, that's just what we do. Is this the most excited you've been about running back going into a season? It is because you know we we have we just have so many more knowns this year. This time last year there were a lot of unknowns offensively, unknowns at back. I mean Tyshawn Dye was kind of a myth like this time last year. It, it, will he ever be healthy? You know, and, and and I sat here and I was like, well, we're hoping maybe by October. You know, as it turns out, maybe it was late October, first of November, somewhere in that time frame. Like the guy you recruited now. Yeah, and well, I mean, he's never had an off season, and and so you know, a guy like him. This time last year, Gallman was a guy that we hoped would emerge, and we were really excited, but he hadn't done it. Uh, now he has. He's just in a different place, physically, <laughs> mentally, confidence. You know, you name it. Uh, uh, Adam Choice had never taken a snap. Uh, C.J. Fuller was red shirt and had just got here. He got qualified late, came in late. Um, you know, so C.J. Davidson is a guy that's kind of had some good moments, had some injuries and things, but, a, but, a, but another talented guy, Zach Brooks, we were really felt like he was going to be the guy, and all of a sudden he gets hurt in camp. Um, and, and so we just have a lot more known things offensively in general, but but uh, especially at, uh, at running back. We, we think we got a bunch of guys that can play. And how it all sort out, they're going to make each other better. Uh, the competition is a great thing, and, and we've got a lot of we got a lot of potential at that position, and uh, and we got depth, which is a, a great thing for us.